today I'm going to try, I'm very excited, I'm going to try and make Nona Stewart's recipe for buns. And she's introduced me to some new ingredients I'd never heard of before because I'm totally gluten free. So um, I have to follow her recipe and I've got this Pusillum husk. Is it Pusillum or Psyllum? Silent P? I don't know. Anyway, so I've got this and I'm making her recipe, but I'm doing it in half. So she has 10 tablespoons of this. I've put five in here. Um, she has two and a half cups of almond flour. I only had two and a bit cups. So I've added a little bit of this chatain flour, which is um, chestnut. So she says mix your dry ingredients together. There we go. And also two teaspoons of um, baking powder. Well, I've got bicarbonate of soda, so I hope that'll be all right. I presume it's the same thing. And a teaspoon of uh, sea salt pink salt, mix that in. So, she said, mix the dry ingredients in a large mixer master bowl. Well, um, I presume it's a food processor. I'm not sure, but I'm putting it into the food processor. There's the dry ingredients all gone in. Then there's some wet ingredients. And she said, add vinegar egg white to the dry ingredients and combine well so there was um four egg whites and two tablespoons of vinegar and one cup of boiling water so that's all got to go in it's going to be a piece of cake well Hopefully some rolls, <laughs> if it works out. Oh, it's bubbling nicely. So I've given that 30 seconds, but it's, well, very runny. So obviously I've made a mistake here. So I'm going to put some more of these psyllum husks in and see if it will settle down a little bit. And a little bit of the chatain flour, just to thicken it up a bit. I'll give it another go. Well, that's a bit better. I've just added a bit more. I must have put too much water in. Um, so now she says with wet hands, you've got to take your dough and mold it into rolls. So I've got a bowl of water here. Oh yeah, I wonder how big they should be. Well, she said, this half a thing should make six, so actually it's probably a bit too small. Let's make it a bit bigger. So I'm taking about a handful like that and rolling it into a roll. I so miss bread when we go to to the bakers and Gordon has a lovely pan of raisin. Brings home a warm baguette. And I just have to sit and watch it. Because <laughs> I won't I won't eat grains anymore. I won't eat wheat anymore. I'm not risking it. Um because I want to try and keep as well as I possibly can so that I can for my body. I don't think food is going to cure this cancer, but I think that if I can keep my body as healthy as possible, it will just help me fight it. So big thank you to Nona Stewart for her. She's from Canada and I'm from England. so. This is across the borders, her recipe, with this psyllium husk. Oh, look, I've got a little bit left over for a diddy one. 
but they're not that great looking. <laughs> I've always been a terrible chef. So that goes in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade if you were like me in Europe and she said 60 minutes so we'll come back in 60 minutes and hope we got a good result. I've just got them out of the oven and they smell lovely um, and they've risen and they're big buns and I made a little dinny one with what was left over and I'm just trying it now with some butter. Mmm, crunchy. Mmm. And there's the inside of it. It's rhythm. Thank you, Nona Stewart. <laughs> I've got something that resembles bread. <laughs> Bless you.